Good morning, this is Allie Camp and I want to welcome you to Lakey TV, uh, your local news anchor for Eustace, Umatilla, Mount Dor, and Tavares. We are going to try something a little bit different today. Like I said, we're going to try something a little bit different today since I have finally recuperated from my broken rib. I am now back to the enjoyment of summer, health, exercise and whatnot. And today I'm having some tea, but not just any type of tea. I am having something called Berry Detox. And no, I'm not a spokesperson for them. It's just, I love the taste of it. This is a detox tea, you know, so if, if you just want to feel a good cleanse, so to speak. Um, I like it because it tastes very well. And, you know, sometimes we have bad habits when we eat and we really shouldn't eat good or bad stuff. But it's good nonetheless and it's also not saying I have bad breath but it's also good for bad breath too yogi pretty good so let's get started here now I am not all just play I do work so you have to excuse me while I'm working on this as well sometimes when for me for example I am so busy I really don't have time to really eat properly and I can really give you the excuse that I can go through the drive-thru well that's really a bad excuse but I want to uh, share with you a quick and fast meal um, not only does it help with all your the pyramid of your foods um, I have nuts I have grains I have fruit and I have protein I want to share with you a quick and fast easy uh, lunch recipe or even breakfast recipe if, if you if you would uh, prefer I'm on the go so much with my work schedule and then of course my schedule um, playing around and whatnot and getting hurt. Um, I like cantaloupe. I like nuts. I love tuna fish. I mean I could turn into a tuna. Um, and I'm going to show you a very light, low carb, low calorie lunch. And you can make within three minutes. And you can time me too. I'm going to time myself too. But for the sake of uh, time, I went ahead and cut a cantaloupe and what you do is you just go ahead and section it in half and have your trash can handy here and just cut out the seeds that's all you really need to do um, I also want to talk about our events for this week in Mount Adora if I may um, we are going to have it's it's actually two people <clears throat> they're a professional jamming set from Tampa and they are going to be here Thursday and they're going to have new and old styles of drumming which is pretty good take a peek at that now you can call the uh, library the uh, WT Bland library uh, for various times on Thursday now let me show you what I've done so far because that's crooked so I'll show you the uncrooked one all it is so far I have it on a bed of lettuce and it's just a cantaloupe okay and I'll put this lopsided one over here too as well. Now, when, when you buy tuna, people think, you know, I want to get the one with water. Well, guess what? If you have dry skin, um, you should get the kind with the oil. I did two things. I got with the oil and with the water. The oil, as you know, how you take your, um, your fish pill, same thing what's the difference I did compare calories I did compare cholesterol which was very very low like maybe 35 milligrams and even has potassium in it as well as your protein and there's no difference so because I have dry skin I prefer to use the tuna with the oil kind of gives it like a little bit of a shield so to speak Plus, I don't have to take those fish oil pills. But think about it. Tuna, fish, oil, same thing. Plus, it's a little more moist, too. All right. Now, I've probably been more than three minutes. Another thing I use is this pretty interesting. It is called mayo with olive oil. Now, I am very conscious, uh, conscious of my cholesterol. This has just 5 milligrams, and sodium is only 35. 
and of course you're not going to really use that much. Now I use two cans of this because I do have a taster today with me. And another interesting thing that I add to my tuna because I want to get all of my um, vitamins and minerals and whatnot. I use, and you get this at Publix, this is pretty cool, nuts, raisins. Um, a little bit of, ca not cashews, but it's kind of like a trail mix. And it gives, makes it pop a little bit. So I just like to throw a lot in there. And another thing you can throw in there. How many of you like cranberries? Cranberries are a natural antioxidant. So in addition to these little trail mix, I take ultra berry fat free. And again, I'm conscious of here and guess what? It is five milligrams of sodium. Now do you know what your count of sodium is per day? Probably not. It's actually uh, 1,250 and you think, okay, that's a lot. Well, little do you know, if you look at your packages, especially I would say your premix packages with chili, you've already exceeded that and you haven't even ate the chili. So I try to keep in mind because of course I have a history of hypertension. And this right here is quick, it's fast, and it's easy. And this is what it looks like, but I also like to add just a tad more. And then I scoop it in here. I'm hungry, it smells good. Um, the other thing too that I like is if I want to do cantaloupe for breakfast, put some eggs in it with a little bit of ham mixed in. It's pretty good. Usually I use like three cans of tuna, but for this purpose. Now, then if I want a salad to go along with it, I have hydroponic tomatoes from my good friend Sue, who I kind of sneak in her yard some, well I don't sneak, when I'm there I just go sneak one of these and eat one by itself. If you have aphids on your uh, vegetables and whatnot, a nice little home remedy is soap and water. You don't need chemicals, you don't need any of that. Now, I like a little bit of klutziness here. I wouldn't be me if I wasn't klutzy. I would say my floors are clean enough to eat off of, but no chance of that. So anyway, I add tomatoes and I add a little bit of blueberries. And you know, this time of season, down 44, just going uh, past Sorrento, you can go pick fresh blueberries. How many of you did, did you know that? So I throw that there. And then of course, my grapes. I love my grapes. Take your time, I went ahead and did that. I'm losing my grapes. Not marbles, but grapes. Because I already lost the marbles. Voila, now, dressing is another good, interesting thing. Calories, fat, sodium, blah, 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 blah. Well, Walden Farms, you can also get this online and um, you can get it in Publix. This is called Sesame Ginger and there are zero carbs. Could you not? Zero carbs in this and it has five, mil no, zero cholesterol, but 35 of sodium. That's okay because it's two tablespoons, but who's really going to have two tablespoons? So all I do is I just drizzle just itty bitty 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 bit. Now me, I like to put a little bit of my tuna just to give it a little pop to it. So just zip it around there. And voila. Well, oh, let me finish telling you before I go ahead and have lunch. I want to tell you what's going on in Tavares. Last week we had the Cannonball uh, Kids Train Festival. Remember Herbie? Well, guess what? He is still here this Saturday and Sunday. So it's going to be throughout the whole weekend and it's not going to rain. So that's a good thing. And in Eustis, we have our um, cruise in, our monthly cruise in. So come on down. Get some coupons for a $50 gift certificate and enjoy yourself and I will see you next week. But before you go, 
what I'd also like to do is go into the grocery store because you know how everything's fat free, you know, organic. Mm -mm. This right here is your telltale, your little nutritional fact. So we're going to go have some fun in a grocery store next week. I will see you there. This is Allie Camp with Lakey.